welcome back to video lecture in previous lecture we have derived the length of transition curve now in this video lecture I will go through just elements of transition curve what are the elements of transition curve we have to consider for a design of transition curve in any horizontal alignment now elements of transition curve let's go through the example on a national highway in rolling terrain two streets intersect at chain edge 1650 meter with an angle of intersection 146 degree 30 minute it is proposed to put a circular arc of 310 meter radius with transition curve of 65 meter at each length or each end Determine the changes at the beginning of the first transition length, circular curve, and second transition curve, and show the computed data in a neat sketch. And this is a tangent length. And the next tangent length, that is the, the uh, intersecting point, and there will be the deflection angle. And this is the circular curve in this intersection point. And this is a radius of curve for the circular curve and then this is a transition curve introduced between the straight line and the circular curve and this is the circular curve shifted inward when we introduce transition curve then this is also transition curve and this is the radius radius of circular curve and this is the tangent point that is the beginning of curve and that is the tangent point two that is the end of curve then the phi is the central angle made by half length of a transition curve. Then the central angle is equals to delta minus 2 phi. And this is the length of transition curve, second transition curve. This is the length of circular curve. And this is the length of the first transition curve. Now, the shift. Shift is the distance at which the, this circular curve is shift inward. When we introduce transition curve between straight line and circular curve, and the shift is given by L square by 24R, where L square is the where L is the length of transition curve and R is the circular curve. Similarly, tangent length. This tangent length is the distance between IP, that is intersecting point to the tangent point similar to the tangent point T2. Therefore, the tangent length T is given as R plus S tan delta by 2 plus LS by 2. This is the tangent length. Similarly, if phi be the angle made by the half length, this is the, from tangent point to the beginning of circular curve is the length of transition curve and phi be the length, phi be the angle made by half this half length of the transition curve and is given as 180 s ls by 2 pi r degree then the central angle that is the central angle made by the, this circular curve is given as delta minus 2 phi then the length of the circular curve is given by r bracket delta minus 2 phi where phi minus as the sorry where delta minus 2 phi is in radian then similarly apex distance that is the apex distance is the distance from the intersecting point to the curve and is given by r plus s sec delta by 2 minus 1 now similarly by the question where l length of transition curve is given as 65 meter and radius of circular curve is given as 210 meters and the shift is calculated from the relation L, L square by 24 R and is calculated at 0 0.5 centimeter. That is the when transition curve is introduced between straight line and circular curve. The original circular curve is shifted inward by 0 0.5 centimeter. Similarly, the deflection angle delta is given by 180 minus intersecting angle. Intersecting angle is 
the interior intersecting angle and the deflection angle is given by 180 minus intersecting angle and is calculated as 33 degree 30 minutes therefore tangent length t is given as r plus s tan delta by 2 plus ls by 2 and is calculated as 125.67 meter similarly the angle made by the half length of transition curve is given by ls by 2r and is calculated as 0 0.1048 in radian and is converted to degree as 6 degree then the central angle of a circular curve and this is the central angle delta minus 2 pi and is given as 0 0.3752 in radian Therefore, length of the circular curve is given as r into delta minus 2 phi and it's calculated as length of circular curve is 116.1 meter. Now, for the change calculation, the given that uh, the change of point of intersection, that is the point of intersection is here and the change is given as 1650 meter. Then the change of the first beginning of transition curve, that is a TP1. This is the beginning of first transition curve is and the change is calculated as the change of IP minus tangent length and is calculated as 1524.33 meter. This is the change of the beginning of first transition curve. Then the change of beginning of circle curve that is the change of this point is calculated as change of tangent point T1 plus length of transition curve and is calculated as 1589.32 meter that is the change of the beginning of circular curve. Similar, similarly, the change of the change of beginning of second transition curve that is the beginning of second transition curve is here and this is the end of the circular curve and the change is given as the change of the beginning of circular curve that is the end of first transition curve plus length of circular curve and is calculated as 1700. 5.33 meter that is the change of the second beginning of curve is given as and as shown in figure then similarly the change of tangent point t2 is calculated as tangent sorry change of end of circular curve that is the beginning of second transition curve plus length of plus length of transition curve and is calculated as 1717.33 meter If you like this video tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more video lecture solution and tutorial thank you